I'm Janet Rosent and I was the Chief of Research here at SickKids, PGCRL, the new Peter Gilgan Centre for Research and Learning. The way research goes today, you can't have silos. You really want an interdisciplinary environment where people doing different kinds of research will meet each other and learn from each other and really take forward projects that are going to help the health of children. We ended up with a small footprint, so we had to go high, and it could be really separating people by floors. So what Diamond and Schmidt did beautifully was build floors together, take three floors and make a common atrium with beautiful spiral staircases, curved windows that hang out over Bay Street, not for the vertiginous amongst us, but really fantastic space. People work hard in the lab, and then when they come out into the interaction spaces, they can have lunch and coffee, they meet together, and it really works. So we've seen a number of successful research interactions that have brought people together, you know, from the clinic to the lab, from the computational biology to the genetics. All these things are coming together because of the ease of interaction in that building. It's the light, I think, because there's so much light in that building. I say, even on a dark day, so much light, the labs have light, the offices have light, the interaction spaces have light. Diamond and Schmidt really did a spectacular job designing the space such that it would really enable interactions among people. In my lab I've seen a lot of really good uh, collaborations which has really pushed our science forward. Hey Ash. It's having people around who have complementary expertise. We brought the entire research community into one tower. My favorite part really is my lab. <laughs> I like to go in there a couple times a day and just chat with people but I really like the way that the space works for doing science, for the social aspect. Because of the open concept it allows trainees in different labs to interact with each other, share reagents, share ideas and that's been spectacular. I've organized patient conferences in the educational space. I've been to many, many large seminar rooms, amphitheaters and so on. The way this one's laid out, you can stand down at the podium and if everyone's quiet, you don't need to mic them. Even if they're a soft speaker, it just carries beautifully. We had a symposium last week that was outstanding and the space really works well because if people are sitting in break time, eating lunch, there's lots of space, I think very relaxing and it's extremely comfortable. When the building opened, there was a buzz about the place. There's still a buzz about the place. We wanted to be able to have people distributed across the building to put people together that might not normally be together to try to build these collateral and collaborative interactions. Because we know that's where science is going. Biomedical science is, is team science. That's probably the biggest problem. The big discoveries, all the things that are going to really be moving child health research along, those require multiple teams, people working at different levels with different perspectives. And that's what the building's set up for. That's what the Research Institute at Tickets is set up for. Modern lab spaces, modern ideas about architecture and moving people together. So it was a perfect mix of the Research Institute, the hospital, the Research Institute culture, and the building, the way that the building works to facilitate collaboration and collegiality. And that's worked brilliantly. Every day somewhere in this building, at least once, probably dozens of times a day, people are thinking something, seeing something that no one in the history of humanity has ever seen or thought before. Oh, okay. I mean, this is really uh, inspirational to be here.